Look what just arrived. It's the White Fly Tarot. It came from mailboxes, etc., all the way from Italy. Isn't that cool? We have an Italian deck here by Danilio. Uh, no, Danilio Sanino. I butchered that. I'm sorry. Anyway, the White Fly Tarot comes in a hardbound box and it looks pretty cool from the outside. It was not sealed in plastic or anything. So let's get it out. And check it out. There's the inside of the box for you. We have a book that uh, looks like about like that. So it comes in, oh Jesus, that's a small font. That is a mighty tiny font. Not sure if you can read that or not, but that is a significantly small font. Um, ooh, uh, wow, the smell. That is that is a that is a hefty chemical smell too. Um, I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to read this. I'm sure there's a PDF version that you can get somewhere. I will find out where that is, but we'll go through the book later. Right now, let's go through the cards. You can go to whiteflytarot.com, by the way. So here are all of the Instagram socials, Facebooks, and all that stuff. If you want to check this out for yourself, so. Wow, that is a potent smell. That smell, it's coming off on my hands. That is a potent smell, and it is coming off on my hands. Okay, I'm rethinking my approach to this deck, and uh, we will check it out from here. So, yeah, that, uh, that came off on my hands or something, and it is, it is quite potent. Anyway, here is the back of the deck, just in case you want to check that out. And Jesus, here's the front of the deck. So this did cost me 60 bucks in US dollars. So let's take a look. We have the magician, kind of cool indeed. Then the high priestess and the card quality is, uh, I mean, it's coming all the way to here. So card quality is, yeah, it, it doesn't appear to be laminated at all. Is it laminated at all? If I bend it, it just kind of stays. Uh, if I bend it a little bit, it just kind of stays bent. Uh, you know, bend it a little. Okay. Um, okay. So some delicacy is required on this particular deck. Now you have the Empress and the Emperor. Interesting. Sort of an interesting look at those two. Of the Hierophant, which is going to be the elk, I guess. The elk with the keys. Then we have the lovers. And the chariot. Huh. I like the chariot. It does look pretty good. All right. We have strength. Oh, the interesting take on strength. You have the heart here. Not sure what's going on with the vase. Not sure what's happening there. We have the hermit. Oh, hermit's kind of interesting. I like sort of the take on that. Looks pretty cool. And then the wheel of fortune. And justice. This is a um, definitely a reimagined set of majors. That is for sure. It is a reimagined set of majors. We have the hanged man, which I think is kind of interesting. Um, yeah, it's like just pretty much Rider Wade is out the door, which sort of just reinterpreting this as we go. And death pouring out. Are they? Is he pouring out something? Pouring out some goo? Maybe that's the black tar from X Files. That went in their ears or what? That, or no, went in their ear. Yeah, went in their ears and their eyes. Uh, temperance, unplugged temperance. I like the unplugged thing there. That's kind of interesting. And the devil, uh, kind of cool. And the tower, um, interesting sort of take on the tower. Definitely there. And then we have the star. So the star is. Interesting, I guess. We have the moon. So it looks kind of like the star, except no. We have the sun. Um, okay, kind of cool. 
Kind of cool uh, interpretation of that. I like it. Then we have Judgment. Judgment looks pretty cool indeed. Now we have The World. All right. And I guess an alternative fool. Is that what's going on? So we have two fools. We have the original. No, we have. Oh, sorry. No, we don't. We didn't get the fool at the first. The fool is reordered for some reason. But they are playing their flute or piccolo or whatever it is. Anyway, very interesting. Then we have the, the miners. Now, in the... Yeah, miners are drastically different than the majors. And I knew that coming in. Something that I knew sort of coming in, the minors were drastically different, but I did like how they approached the minors and how they looked. So, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, the, um, the Three of Pentacles. It does keep the work feel. It's very interesting indeed. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. So, okay. Again, I like the astrological symbols on them. I think that's kind of nice. I like the font that's used. I think the artwork is interesting indeed. Sort of have that transparent foot thing going. That's kind of cool. And in regard to the six, sort of that giving out, that sharing aspect of the six is sort of cool. And then the seven of pentacles, I guess sort of uh, planting things. And we have the stairway to heaven with a key hanging down. There are sort of many keys that I've seen in here. So sort of a recurring theme. Eight of Pentacles, not really sure what's happening here. I guess we are traversing onto the big tomorrow. Um, if, uh, let's see, does it explain here? Maybe, maybe, and I'm just not seeing it. Uh, no. So the book is ordered traditionally from wands to cups, swords, and pentacles, but the deck itself starts out at pentacles. So I like the colors. It is a bit digital, you know, a little digital there. I think the graphics are interesting, I gotta say. For 60 bucks, I guess I was hoping for more. For 60 bucks, I was hoping for more. I guess I was just hoping for a, just a, um, maybe a different style of card or something like that. And uh, Jesus with the smell. I guess I was hoping for no smell. <laughs> for 60 bucks. Um, I guess I'll let them, I'll let them air out. I mean, I do have a couple of mass market decks that had quite a potent smell as well. Well, not like this. I don't think other than the Russian tarot that I got no, the dollar store tarot, other than the dollar store tarot, I have not seen anything with this kind of smell, just this potent of a smell. Anyway, let's review. <laughs> let's go back to the cards. The Ten of Pentacles and the page. Sort of weird glassy eye thing going on there, but I do like it. Again, really, 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 really digital. So, you know, it's interesting. Sort of knew what I was going to get in, coming in. Now, here's the, the courts. I like the court cards expression. I sort of like how they're handled. I think the uh, 3D look of that particular pentacle, I think is kind of cool. Um, with the knight. And then we have the queen and the king as well so yeah overall i like it uh recurring staircase theme recurring keys the keys being there um cloud formations are the same across a couple of the court cards not exactly something that would be my favorite thing ace of cups that looks pretty cool i gotta say that looks that looks pretty cool they did well on that and the two uh, i love the faces I like the expression. I think they're done well. And the lit up heart or sort of the heart chakra type thing, uh, I think it's kind of cool. I think they did well with that. Three of cups, sort of that mermaid feel. I like it. And again, I love the I love the astrological symbols. So now we have the four of cups, you know, not really wanting that last cup type of feel. Um, it definitely has sort of a bit of reinterpretation there. Five of Cups, I love the artwork here. It, if things are spilling, it's like cauldrons, like a witch's cauldron type feel. 
and maybe you have a genie coming out of one of these. I'm not sure what's going on there. The six is kind of interesting. It has more of a longevity or distance feel to it than, than I would be accustomed to. Normally, it's t uh, a little girl and a little girl um, exchanging cups. And then we have the seven. Again, love the faces. I think the faces are well done. So now we have the eight, just that abandonment feel going forward with all of that. And the nine. The nine is sort of cool. Sort of cool. It's got a little fey feel to it. And the ten with a little unicorn. Nothing says a new deck of cards like a unicorn. And the page. So the page is sort of interesting. Uh, the pages have this ghostly feel with like glassy eyes. That's the other page. Remember the other page of Pentacles had the same type thing. I think it's something interesting with the pages. Maybe it's explained in the book. We'll take a look in a minute. But yeah, the knight, no, um, no horse. The queen looks, is that the same? Is that sort of the same expression? Same expression a little bit? Yeah, that is, that is a lot of similarity. That is quite a bit of similarity between the queens, I gotta say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it out there. That is a lot of similarity. But uh, yeah, so now you have the Queen of Cups. And the king looks very similar to the knight. It's almost like that you reuse the face. Maybe put some facial hair on it. Ugh, are we getting kind of samey here? Getting a little bit samey here? What about this other king? So that king and that king and this knight. Very similar sort of a structure, I guess, other than the facial hair. And we have the knight, page knight, king. What did I do? Did I mess it up? I messed it up, didn't I? I put the queen in the wrong place. Uh, we'll fix it later. Okay, so let's move on to the ace of wands. It's sort of interesting there. I like the uh, I like the aspect, how the ace is done there. Then we have the two. Ooh, I like that. I love that. Very, very cool. Very sort of ethereal, like I don't know what's coming next. And then we have the three, which is similar. Um, again, very ethereal. We have the, sort of the same object in the background. I guess maybe they're looking at the same thing. And then we have the four of wands. So a little bit of a minotaur playing a violin or viola. Or, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Um, and then we have the bear. We have a bear attack. You know, you're going to have a rough day when a flying bear comes at you. And he has the claws out, too. He is not hesitating with those claws. It, ooh, this is cool. It's got a circus feel to it, doesn't it? Six of Wands, a little bit of the circus feel as we ride through. We got it on the dragon. Maybe we conquered the dragon. I love the art style there. And then the seven as well. And we have the eight. So, yeah, eight looks very adventurous, very sort of movement oriented. We have the wounded warrior of the nine. It does have that wounded warrior feel, like they have the preparation, like they're about to get up and leap out. And then we have the encumbrance of the ten with the recurring staircase theme again. Then we have another page with the glassy eyes and whatnot or the mask on. So I wonder if, why the pages have a mask. Again, well, they have the same. The recurrence of this background swirl is kind of annoying me. I'm not going to lie. I think the background swirl is a bit overused. I mean, we have it in all of these cards. We have the same basic background swirl. I think they could have um, could have done a little more in the... They could have done a little more artwork to make the background unique, in my opinion. That'd be great. Um, the Knight of Wands. And then we have the Queen of Wands, which again has the background swirl. And let's see about this queen compared to the other queen. So we have the, the page with the mask and whatnot. Let's compare this queen with the other queen. It looks very, yeah, a little similar. A little similar there. 
So kind of samey on the faces for the queen, that's for sure. And the background swirls back for the king. So there are the wands. All right, now we are on to the swords. I believe that is the final. Yes, we are on to the swords. So we have the ace of swords. I like sort of that metallic or icy feel with this. So it definitely has that ice cold, very cool kind of feel to it. Then we have the two. Ooh, I like this sort of riding the wolf. And the wolf is just sort of looking at us, you know, like, like I'm going to eat you up or whatever. And the three of swords. Um, the tears coming out are a bit much. The, the fragmenting shoulder pads, maybe a bit much. Um, now we have the four, which looks good. That looks cool. That's an interesting take on that, don't you think? I think it's a very interesting take on that. Now we have the five. And the five is, ooh, I like the snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? So we're sort of traversing the dangerous snakes and whatnot. And the background swirl is back with the six of swords as we take an adventurous boat ride towards the new horizon. Um, seven of swords. Um, okay. I mean, I guess. That, that seems like the, um, it seems like the five of swords and the seven of swords are maybe mixed. I mean, that feels like a seven of swords card there. Just sort of the sneaking out and uh, going through the snakes and whatnot. This seven of swords is more of a cauldron uh, energy running through the cauldron. And we have the eight of swords, the restrictions presented by the Eight of Swords, and the Nine. Ooh, I like that Nine. That Nine looks very cool. Sort of all the nightmares and whatnot. And then the Ten, you know, we're stabbed multiple times. Then we're back to the pages with the mask. And the Knight, that looks, showing their teeth. That looks dramatically different. We have a, a ooh, the Queen looks dramatically different too. The King looks looks really similar to the queen i gotta say looks pretty similar there um yeah a little bit anyway but i like the cold feel we have sort of the samey background between these two very similar um almost similar armor similar outfits and whatnot similar looking face similar background similar background features and whatnot okay Let's look through the book. Now, you will notice that you will notice a dramatic change in the lighting because in order to get this to not be blown out, I have to adjust it a little bit. So in order for you to read this. Anyway, there's your wands. So the two of wands represents the movement immediately before taking the first step towards our goal. Okay. You sort of read that on your own, and then we go into the rest of them, which is not much. It's not much indeed. Is this, how many languages does this have? Uh, well, we got a couple there. So it looks like we had 24 pages for per language. So I'll let you pause and read that. And again, the colors are going to look a little, a little weird because it's blown out. And let's look at a couple of major cards. I'll let you pause and read that as well. Okay. Um, let's see. I What I like, what I don't like. I like the graphics. I think the graphics look pretty good. Um, I don't like some of the sameness between the cards, like the, the continuous swirl action. Um, some of the sameness between the queens and whatnot. It looks like it's like the same face model. Uh, the continuous swirly swirl in the background for many of the cards, as well as sort of this continued theme between the two. Uh, would have liked to see a little more variety. I think the smell is potent, and I'm going to go, I guess, wipe off the cards. Um, definitely don't want to get them wet. They have, they have no lamination at all. So I'm kind of concerned about that. Maybe it's just me with the, with the card quality, but when I, when I sort of bend it a little bit, I, I don't expect it to stay that way. 
I mean, I'm not like just butchering the card. I'm just slightly bending it a little bit. So if I get some other card like, like mine, like the, uh, like mine, I mean, it's, it has more of a snap back to it. It, it doesn't, you know what I mean? It sort of snaps back and it sort of recovers, right? It's not like, not like, I mean, you just do that and it's recovered. But on this one, when you, again, when you just bend it over like that, it just kind of stays there. Um, I'm not kind of pleased with that, especially for 60 bucks. So if you get this, definitely be careful. Um, any bends in it will, will definitely be staying. Um, card quality as well. Um, was just kind of lacking in my opinion, my personal opinion. Overall, I think I got a mixed bag here for 60 bucks. I guess I expected a little more, especially when the smell comes off on my hands. So anyway, a mixed bag for me, mixed bag for me. I can see good and bad from the white fly Terra. Let me know what you think. And if you would spend 60 bucks on this yourself. Uh, thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe.